As you can see, I'm all ready to tell you another exciting adventure of Kit Carson. Got my frosty cold bottle of Coca-Cola right here. I sure hope you have a bottle of ice cold Coca-Cola where you are. Man. If you ask me, ice cold Coca-Cola is the most delicious, refreshing drink there is. And now, let's see what's in store for Kit Carson this week. The early Californians were very sociable people and spent a lot of time visiting each other. And it was when a witness in a murder case was away on one of these visits that this old custom nearly led to serious trouble. Doesn't seem to be anybody around, Toro. Oh, there must be. The Rancho Anselmo and Dossi is so big it takes days to ride across it. And there'll be plenty more people when you give Don Anselmo your message. He'll give a big fiesta with all the beautiful senoritas of California. But what if he doesn't accept the governor's invitation? There'll be no fiesta, no senoritas. But he can't refuse to be asked to run for the office of lieutenant governor is a big honor. See if there's anybody around the back, Toro. Anybody home? Nobody's around. The marsh hanging on the line looks like it's been there for a week. Read this to me, Toro. I want to know if it says what I think it does. It's to Don Anselmo San Juan. Me ha nevado a Guadalupe. I have been taken to Guadalupe to be tried for murder of the cattle thief who died in the gunfight when we surprised him and his companion. How can they call it murder when a cattle thief is killed in a gunfight? Go on reading, Toro. There is something strange behind all this. Hurry at once, I will need your testimony. Your affectionate father. But it doesn't explain why nobody's around. I think Don Anselmo is right. There is something very strange behind this. First thing we have to do is see Don Anselmo. How far is it to Guadalupe? About a day's ride from here. Let's get started. People are headed for the ranch, Toro. Maybe it's Juan, Don Anselmo's son. Let's see who they are. Come on.
My name is Parker. Why were you going to the Mendoza Ranch? Well, the deputies took me there. Deputies? Yeah. Those two men with you were deputies. Why'd you start shooting when you saw us? You fired first and we shot in self-defense. What'd you want at the Mendoza Ranch? I was to show them the room where Mendoza murdered my brother. What led up to your brother's killing? We went to his house to collect a gambling debt off of Mendoza. Was there anybody at the ranch besides Mendoza? No, no one. All right, get on your horse. Give my apology to the deputies for detaining you. What's this about the sheriff? And the note we found from Don Anselmo say that the man they killed was a cattle thief. Pay a visit to the sheriff in Guadalupe and have a talk with Don Anselmo. Let's get going. After lunch, it's that time, you know. That's right. It's also siesta time. We're going to wake him up anyway. I believe the sheriff is away, amigo. You know where he went, or when he'll be back? He went to Los Angeles to celebrate the birth of a grandchild. As to when he'll be back. I should think in a week or two, senor. Could you tell me where I can find the deputy or somebody in charge? Well, perhaps they can tell you at the cantina. And perhaps you can tell me where I can find the jail. Is it occupied now, senor? Yes, by Anselmo Mendoza. You must be mistaken, senor. You must be. But why should he be there? Don Anselmo is an upright, honorable man. He's charged with murder. The jail is there, senor. I shall go see him at once. Did you hear that, Tom? Si. I'm going over to the jail and talk to Don Anselmo. You look around and see what you can pick up. I'll go to the cantina. That's always a good place to hear things. I understand you're holding Don and some Mendoza here in your jail. We wish to see him. Well, this is Deputy Sheriff Morton, Senor Kit Carson. We can't see him. He's being held incommunicado. By whose orders? Mine. He's being tried for murder Friday. He's got a lot of friends around here. I'm not taking any chances on a jailbreak. An exception must be made in this instance. I demand to see him. And yeah. check your guns with me. You got visitors. That foolish boundary dispute has kept us strangers these many years, Don Anselmo. The moment I heard of your trouble, I hurried here. You are most kind, Don Jose. But tell me, did you only just hear of the affair? I knew nothing about it until I met Senor Carson here a few minutes ago. My ranch lies some miles out of town. But how did you, a stranger, learn of my imprisonment? I found the note that you left to your son. What can I do for you, Don Anselmo? Find one. If my son can be brought to testify, the charges against me will collapse. Do you know where your son is? He left just before my arrest to inspect the foothill ranges. He knows nothing of my trouble. I shall start the search at once. Tell me, my friend, what is the nature of the charge against you? Juan and I surprised two rustlers driving away a band of our cattle. They opened fire and one of them was killed. Is that what union with the United States means? Ah, but now the survivor of these two men is no longer a cattle thief. He is one of two brothers named Parker who came to me to collect a gambling debt. I had never laid eyes on them before. It's unfortunate the sheriff is not in town. We'd never believe this trumped-up murder charge. <laughs> Most unfortunate. I shall hurry to my ranch and have my men find your son. Keep your heart up. I promise we'll not fail you. Gracias. Will you join us, Senor Carson? Uh, not right now, thank you, uh... I have some business with Don Anselmo. Hasta luego. Hasta luego, eh? You will see that Don Anselmo wants for nothing.
You will say nothing to Juan Mendoza about his father being in jail. But why, Uncle? If Juan's father is in jail, he must be told. It is Don and Salmo's wish that his son be kept ignorant of this matter. But I don't understand. If Juan's father is in trouble, he has a right to know. You will say nothing to Juan about his father. Nothing. If you disobey me now, it will be the most serious disobedience of your life. Do you understand me? Well, it is enough that I've given my consent to your marrying Juan. For that, you owe me implicit obedience. Yes, Uncle. There wasn't anybody at your ranch when we were there. The household servants have been frightened away. What about your vaqueros? They are distant rangers at this time of the year. I wonder why Parker was being taken to your ranch. Well, I suppose to familiarize himself with the house so that his story of the shooting sounds convincing. Vengeance for his brother's death that Parker's after. All that a cattle rustler could think about in a jam like this is to get out of the country. Someone is using him to get at you and cooked up this whole deal. But there is no one, kid, who would do such a thing. I have only friends. Where are they now? This came in the basket with my lunch. This little present isn't from a friend. They want you to try to make an escape so that they can kill you. Don't use it. How big is your ranch? Oh, the way Americans measure land, about 300,000 acres. Uh, someone is trying to get rid of you to grab it. No, that is impossible. My son Juan inherits the property on my death. What do you think about the governor's proposition? Oh, I would be delighted to run for lieutenant governor. <laughs> With this as my campaign headquarters. <laughs> I've, I've met Parker. I promise you there won't be any trial. Okay, gang, we'll be back with Kit Carson in just a minute. There always seems to be something wonderful about a high school dance, and the special thrill of this magic evening sparkles in everyone's eyes. But when ice-cold Coca-Cola's on hand, as any young high school couple will tell you, some of the very happiest moments are even happier still. Yes, the young people of today have learned what their mothers and dads always knew, that at a high school dance or anywhere, there's no other pause like the pause that refreshes with ice-cold Coca-Cola. And now, let's catch up with Kit Carson. This is the brand of Senor Hernandez. I suppose Hernandez could have sold the horse. I also found out that the two men who were with Parker this morning are vaqueros of Hernandez. Uh, Hernandez is behind this whole thing. And he told Mendoza he was going to set up a search party to look for his son. 
Then we better look for the son first. His trial is coming up Friday. It'll be a mock trial, and they'll run him out and hang him. We can still do that. There's been time to set up a proper system of courts in California. Where's Parker? He's in the hotel eating. Good. He'll be as useful as Mendoza's son. Let's go. Keep the change, honey. And remember, when I come back, I want the best of everything. I've got plenty of money. Cover the door, Toro. Do they hang cattle rustlers in this area, Parker? Well, I'm from not in this part of the country. Where did you do your gambling with Mendoza? Why, uh, uh, Los Angeles. How would you like to go there, right now? Parker, you're just a small pawn in a big game. You'll never live to spend the money that they gave you. When Mendoza dies, you'll die. You'll die before you can get out of town. Hernandez can't afford to have you around to talk. How did you know Hernandez gave me money? And as soon as you've earned the money by swearing away the life of an innocent man, he'll have you killed. I had to do it. There was no choice. His rider saw the gunfight with Mendoza and his son from the distance, and, and I tried to escape. They caught me. They were going to hang me as a rustler. And Hernandez offered me money and my life for this service. How did they figure on getting the Mendoza ranch? His son Juan will inherit it. If I go on the side of Mendoza, will it be more money? The son is to marry the niece of Hernandez. Oh, and after the wedding, there'll be a slight accident. His niece will inherit everything. Where are they keeping Juan? Oh, at the ranch of Senor Hernandez. Let's get going. I'll ride with you until we get out of this territory. I'll take this. Let's go. Toro, go tell Mendoza we found Parker. We're going to keep him under cover until the trial. Muy bien. You going somewhere? I was in there having my dinner and this smart guy... I got a place for him. Pick him up. Come on, this way. Carson, I'll send your regards to Mendoza. He'll be joining you soon. You stupid. But, uh, but he had a gun on me all the time. Yeah. Well, just remember, from now on, I'm gonna have a gun on you all the time. Move. Are you still alive? I can see nothing. Never mind the talking. Throw down a rope. A rope? Uh, see. Si. Un momento. For me, it's just a dried up shallow well full of timbers. The timbers broke my fall. Let's get over to the Hernandez Ranch.
Rosa, let us say goodbye here. I must leave in the morning. But... Well, I must see my father and discuss with him the announcement of our engagement. Oh, but you agreed to my uncle's plan. No, it, it is better if you wait here until the fiesta. My uncle will send vaqueros for your father and, and then the engagement will be announced. Well, I feel I should prepare my father for the announcement. Why, well, are, are you afraid he may not give his consent? My father indulges me in everything. Then remain my captive a few more days. Please, Juan. My uncle has his heart set on it. But I left my father to inspect a distant part of the ranch. The very next day I met you and... Is our ungrateful guest threatening to leave? Come, Juan. Humor me in this small thing I have set my heart on. I want to see the expression on your father's face when the engagement is announced. Come in. Come in. Por favor, gracias, señorita. A little food for the hungry traveler. Go around to the help's quarters. They will find something for you. Well, the mealtime has passed and the cooks have all retired for the day. The household help has also retired. Oh, please, senorita. One so beautiful as you must have a very warm heart. I've had no food all day. It seems you know the way to a senorita's heart. <laughs> Come in, sit down. I'll find you something. I have seen you somewhere before. I was thinking the same thing. Are you looking for work? <laughs> no, only food. I could tell my uncle if you were interested in work. Oh, no, please don't disturb him. It might annoy him. I'll see what's in the pantry. Gracias. Oh, yes, Uncle. I'm here. I want you to go at once to Juan and play and sing for him. I told you he must not be left alone for a moment. But why, Uncle? What is all this mystery? Why can't I tell him his father's in jail? Who is this man? The man with Carson. Where's Carson? Where is he? Here I am, Senor Hernandez. Now you'll call Juan Mendoza and tell him his father's in jail and needs his testimony like you promised. Uncle, it isn't true. Tell me it isn't true. Rosa. Juan, you must believe me. Your father's in trouble, but my uncle deceived you. He told me that your father wanted you to know nothing about it. Sit down for a minute, Juan, then we'll go see your father. You stay here. I'll find out where Hernandez wants to keep you. You talk too much to stay in town. here until the trial. He pretty nearly ruined everything with Carson today. Hey, what's the matter with you? You look sick. <laughs> well, anyway, you wouldn't have to worry about Carson. We buried him ten feet under the ground. Don't move. Anything. So, you let us into a trap. I'll take that gun. I come back on your side. You change sides too easily and too often. One is taking care of buzzing the house. When the sheriff gets back, he'll have plenty of prisoners. Yep, and you'll be one of them. Bring him along, Toro. A 
I hope, Kit, you can come back for the wedding of Juan and Rosa, eh? I'll try. If you can't, send El Toro. Oh, that'd be cruel to <laughs> do a friend. He'd be a lot happier if he doesn't know. And now, before I tell you about next week's exciting adventure of Kit Carson, I'll bet you'd be interested in watching an exhibition of strength by our friend El Toro, whose name is Don Diamond in real life. Whoa. Well, here he is performing a mighty difficult prone press. And that's a 200-pound weight Don's using. But now watch this one. The very difficult military press. That's mighty hard work Don's doing. Mighty hard. And Bill Williams knows just what Don will lead when he's through. Have a coke, Don. Muchas gracias, amigo. All the time El Toro licked the weights, he think what fun it will be to drink ice cold Coca-Cola. Well, that's Don's way of saying that there's no pause like the pause that refreshes with ice cold Coca-Cola. And Don sure is right. Ice cold Coca-Cola is in a class by itself. And now I reckon you'd like to hear about next week's exciting adventure of Kit Carson. When Kit Carson ran into an auction where the ranch of an old friend of his was being sold, he bid the highest. And he also bid for some rough action, which I'll tell you about next week. Be sure to be with us next week at this same time for another thrilling episode in The Adventures of Kit Carson. Brought to you by your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola.